will cover image and text automation okay and before getting into this first we need to understand at uh, when uh, we can use this image and text uh, activities to uh, automate particular steps okay so go and see this you now check this uh, uh, application so this is a windows application okay so assume that this is a uh, very old applications so very old application this is legacy application so we used to say uh, some technical term legacy application okay and what is legacy so let's say you know if i am going to going back to uh, studio if i use any ui automation activity okay ui automation activities and go to browser let me go to modern activities uh, go here just uh, use click before that i drag and drop this and uh, attach this application and go here use some click activity and if you click on this if you go here you no know, each this particular ui activities are highlighting particular places right it is it you no know, if you it's it's you know it's going going and highlighting uh, the fields so here it is highlighting and the check uh, the text box it is highlighting if i go here the here also it is highlighting okay that is how we can able to capture if i click on any places let's say if i click on this cache in and it will produce selectors here okay as you know what is selectors it will produce selectors here but if it is in a legacy uh, application okay if it is in a legacy very old application it will not highlight anything here okay and also it will not produce any selectors then how can i automate that particular application i have a question right so for that you can use um, image and keystroke uh, activities okay that we used to call image and text automations okay and uh, so here you see image region selection and the ui frame default uh, hoverable element selections and enable native uh, text these option also you can use while you capturing that particular field okay so let me uh, click on cancel so as of now assume that this application is a legacy application using these uh, activities so we are not able to uh, uh, enter or click any of these buttons okay so then i have an alternative uh, methods those are uh, we used to call uh, uh, keystroke or mouse um, not mouse uh, automation okay mouse activities so go here if you click on uh, keyboard okay here you have a keyboard activities send hotkey and how else you no know, here you go modern activities keyboard shortcuts okay and if you click on image if you type image there is a click image activity so these are uh, these activity will uh, perform based on the uh, captured image okay so here you see a uh, click image and uh, uh, double click image hover image and those are things okay to get text let's say if i want to get text some uh, get some text from this window then you can use uh, text go here so here you know uh, using this get text activity okay get text activity you, you can able to get your text if the if our uh, ui element works fine okay but if it is not then you can use this uh, get text uh, get full text this is the screen scraping right so already we covered screen scraping so from this screen scraping we have a different uh, method screen sap, screen scraping method get full text get visible text then find text position also it's including this uh, native okay so here you can use get full text okay and now i am going to create a, a small workflow to automate this particular uh, application uh, using uh, only uh, image and uh, um, image and text automation okay so let's go back to studio and create a new sequence that is uh, okay let me go with the mouse mouse and image 
mouse and image okay now so open this application okay i'm going here and uh, so attach window or else you can use application you want to open your application right you can use this open application okay drag and drop open application just indicate on the uh, application okay it's highlighted that particular application now assume that using this ui automation activities okay so using this ui automation activities we are not able to capture anything from that application okay assume like that because we don't have any legacy application with us so now first uh, i i uh, let me explain uh, what what is what i'm going to do so first i need to click on this uh, uh, split deposit then I need to enter uh, some amounts here and here some amounts then here then uh, there will be a total deposit I need to capture the total deposit and also I want to click some other place here uh, enable addition additional uh, icon something like that okay so that is my process now go back to uh, studio in order to click this particular split uh, deposit so you know that so if you type click and we have a mouse click that is UI automation as of now as if that it is not going to work on the application because that is a very old legacy application now there is another option image under image there is a mouse activity click and double click okay I'm going to use this click image activity okay and uh, indicate on the screen and here I'm going to see here there is a difference if you use UI uh ui automation click activity if you move this place and it will highlight so assume that this is a legacy it is not uh, highlighted that's the reason we use this image grab this image you know just like this and release your uh, mouse okay it's captured okay so it's now it's going to click split deposit then what after that after clicking split deposit i need to enter uh, cash in right so again go back to studio then you want to enter uh, some amount right then use type into okay so if you type and uh, there will be a uh, ui uh, automation type into uh, so it won't work and uh, so here there is a keyboard okay keyboard keyboard type into just drag and drop keyboard type into and just indicate on the screen not not okay so here if you indicate on the screen it is highlighting so assume that it is not highlighting then you need to click on this f3 button to select the image region okay select f3 and again select this cache uh, in okay release your mouse then again drag and drop type into so let's say here you are going to enter some thousand okay thousand and here again I want to enter some other uh, honest check here and uh, click on image so this particular uh, place okay and you see here I am going to uh, enter 2000 okay then third type into drag and drop type into and indicate on the element and here I am going to type some 500 Okay, capture your place where you want to enter your data and within double quotes 500 okay so then after that what I have to do after entering 1000 let's say 2000 and 500 okay so you need to uh, get this text right so to get this text before that I want to click this option enable uh, addition additional icon okay then go back to studio and again click activity okay there is a image under click image drag and draw and just indicate and go here indicate this one I mean not indicate just to capture this image and that's it okay now we want to get text okay so to so get text just type text and here you see uh, get visible text okay so 
we uh, yes we can use this get visible text uh, from the screen scrapping okay use get uh, visible text just indicate and uh, again assume that it is not it's not highlighted that is it is we are using image and go here capture this okay and till this that's it anyhow it's going to store some text here create a variable uh, let me create a variable name as result okay so sorry and the message box drag and drop here and call your result okay so now we are not use here no we are not uh, using any uh, ui uh, automation activities to capture the selectors so we assume this is a legacy application and it's not allowing us to capture the selectors then we used uh, image and keystroke uh, mouse image keystroke automations okay now uh, i am going to close this okay so keep it like some somewhere else or else uncheck this okay close this now i am going to run my workflow okay and go to debug file click on run file you see the application open split deposit it should enter uh, the amount okay it will it will not take this much time okay i will recapture it again cash in okay uh, application split withdrawal again i am going to indicate on the screen image i am going to capture cache like this and now click on save and go here and just close it let's try it again run file okay let's see what is the error it's throwing okay so here the image is not working i don't know why it's not working that is the issue with the legacy application if you go with the image and uh, keystroke so i tried a study on uh, the same part mouse and keyboard with the same click image cache in well let's check whether now it today is it's working or not okay run file should open split it should enter 1200 1500 1500 then finally it should give a total deposit amount now it's working fine so i click on image uh, split deposit cash in then uh, i typed uh, sorry guys i i should go with like this so first click on uh, Uh, deposit then again i need to click then i need to pass type into okay you, you should not force directly type into okay again go here and uh, try click because we need because we are doing image and uh, keystroke automation right so again you need to click on image so just uh, one second let me uh, remove all those things okay so again click on image i need to click on this particular image first okay and once i click there i can use directly type into no need to uh, capture the images and all okay so type into in keyboard so i can use 1200 or 1200 something like that you can remove this and uh, okay one second guys i will come from the beginning so that you will get uh, easy understanding okay so here uh yeah so here you have clicked a uh, split deposit right then again you need to click uh cash in click image drag and drop click image and here you have a application so you need to click on this this place because we clicked here our cursor should be here in this place now we need to move it uh, move my cursor in, into this place right so then click here okay in this place then go to this uh, studio 
and again drag and drop uh, uh, click image activity and we indicate this cache in button okay this cache in checkbox once you capture this one one second i will uh, keep it somewhere it's my cursor and now go back and capture it okay this is done this is a click image then after clicking i need to type some uh, amount okay that is a type into i am going to use this type into okay then you give some amount in here thousand okay and then after uh, coming here this place i need to click here this place right so to enter uh, my uh, honest check okay and for that again drag and drop click image activity click image activity and uh, indicate on the screen so this one this this one and now it's captured and again use type into type into keyboard and drag and drop and again indicate and uh, sorry not indicate and you can directly pass your amount here also i pass something like 2000 and uh, again i'm going to drag and drop type into sorry not this one and this keystroke and before that i need to drag and drop click i need to click somewhere else in the third uh, check, uh, text box right then go here and highlight this one and now you enter some amount here okay so now assume that now you entered uh, you click the split deposit i now you entered amount you click here you entered some amount then you click here you enter some amount then you click here you enter some amount okay so let's go here thousand and two thousand three thousand okay here you have result so if you want to click somewhere else you can use one more click image activity and uh, let's click on uh, something graphical label okay this one and release it now you want to get some text right uh, you want to get result right then use get visible text okay you can use get visible text because we are going to uh, do screen scrapping uh, method one of the uh, th then use this uh, get visible text then click here and click on F3 and grab this particular page and release it. Okay, and create a variable and result and uh, drag and drop a message box. Message box here and uh, type result. Okay, and now close this uh, application and just run file. So it's click deposit and uh, it's uh, typed a thousand to it's a uh, C it's somewhere it's a typing somewhere else in the um, uh, box because it's look like similar uh, text uh, similar text boxes okay there is no uh, nothing dif uh, nothing here to uh, differentiate this and this that's what this 2000 typed here and 500 typed here and 1000 typed here okay let me try some other method so if you are handling the legacy application this is how you need to test and uh, try okay then again i am going here in the first place and uh, let me change only this place and uh, this split and uh, this particular place grab text from the screen i am going to capture this okay and close your application and try one more time okay click run file now it should enter cache in there uh, let's see it's clicked there it should enter the amount
click this is this is not working and again you'll try some other option like uh, cash in and let me type thousand here and this one indicate again okay so now you see I'm capturing like this Save and run file. Thousand. Yeah, it's first one is typed uh, correctly, and now we close and again do it for the other one. Cash in is okay. Here I want to uh, tell that this honest cash, honest check. Okay. Go here, uh, this place studio, and uh, so this is for honest check. This is for this one. Let's try this, then, uh, if it is resolved, then we'll go for the next one. thousand okay it's typed uh, 2000 there itself okay so in this case you can use uh, keystroke automation as well but i will tell you later but now we'll try to complete this entire process with the image only okay and uh, so now here uh, we saw that it's clicked cash in and it's typed a uh, um, thousand okay so so then we need to check manually so i need to click here and let's say this is not here and i need to click here so once i click here the, the window like that it will be like this then i'm entering thousand here then if i click on this place okay this honest check and still my cursor is there only okay then if i click here then it's coming here mm, then in that case I captured the same place only. Let's try again. Go here, cash in. Cash in is working fine. And then we need to grab this particular place. Okay. Save. Let's try again. So, this is how we need to. Uh, we need to try lot to bring that particular uh, step into step to execute ok it's again entered this cache out ok so in this case what we can do we can do uh, we can implement a keystroke here because uh, so here I done it uh, the same flow it was working fine but now it is not working so here you see I captured the same uh, uh, text boxes and here also and I see there is a one small difference okay let me try that as well on the application and let's go here and click here and type something and go back to this so cash in okay that is fine the other one just again use that entire box that is done let's try whether it is working now or not Okay, save and close your application. Just run file. Mm -hmm. Two thousand. Yeah, now it's working fine. So now, uh, now you see the the text uh, message box is empty now. But here it's uh, no entered uh, 1000, 2500, 3500 and it's clicked a graphical label. Okay, now check why it is not capturing the text. So we have used here uh, get visible text, right? So go to activity panel, so type text and uh, 
on the text uh, so we tried get visible text uh, so this full text I'm going to try this full text and indicate and click on uh, image region so I'm going to select this maybe now it is 3500 let's see without uh, trying this full text so before because there was different uh, uh, amount so is that because of that failing indicate on the screen image then again capture the total deposit if now it is works then we need to handle other things and uh, close it and run file centered 1000 2000 500 or 3500 still it's showing empty okay we can uh, can we try some other alternative uh, method and uh, open this enter something here total deposit is uh, leave it as it is go to here and delete this and try full text okay and uh, get full text and indicate now and capture the place uh, not here sorry and we need to capture uh, this place split this total deposit and here indicate and uh, select image region and select this total deposit okay the text should be result and save it now again close this and go here and run file okay now you see total deposit 3500 now the get full text activity working fine so this is how you need to uh, do for uh, this is how you need to automate for uh, legacy application so first you need to understand your application first okay if i click here and uh, let's say if i click here and what it, what it is uh, showing and where the cursor is then uh, if i click here where is the cursor if i if i want to go here uh, which one i need to click something like that you need to do thorough analysis on your applications okay and to see here we tried you know, many ways uh, you cannot tell that you no know, simply trying one uh, image and uh, hey it is not working and i think we cannot automate this particular application we cannot tell that you need to try because whenever we try with the image automation you need to capture in a different different angle okay so first you capture the entire thing then you cap if it is not working then you capture only this particular uh, text box if that is also not working can you uh, extend your uh, image size you uh, know uh, to ca capturing the uh, entire text box so that is how you need to work okay you cannot tell that uh, simply uh, you know uh, checking one particular uh, image and you cannot tell that it is not possible to automate this application uh, something like that okay you need to try at least you need to do thorough analysis on the application then you need to try at least uh, in many way you need to try it okay this is how the click image and uh, type into keystroke it will work okay and the other method okay without how i can handle without uh, this uh, click image okay i mean click image in the sense uh, um, yeah this particular click image okay we have tried the cache in right so i am going to try with the keystroke now keystroke in the sense uh, so how we are typing on your keyboards okay so let's go here design tab click on new sequence let's say uh, this is also image image and key keyboard okay and uh, same application open your application and uh, make it here and go to your uh, studio and uh, drag and drop open application okay and click on your uh, window and uh, after that uh, go here so where i need to click so let's say i'm going to click with travel okay 
and once I click here, see, first I need to, I, I told you, right, you need to do analysis on the application. First, I, if I click here, and where will be the cursor, automatically it will be here only. So, if I click here, the cursor automatically it will be here. If I click here, the cursor automatically it will be here. So, if I click somewhere else, okay, here, you see, I clicked here, but if I jump, jump into withdrawal, it will be in the same place. If I jump into deposit, it will be in the first place only. So, I can understand that whenever, no, I, if I move, okay, if I move here, it will be here only. Even if I close my application, if I reopen it and uh, there is no uh, cursor on, on that particular place, okay, see here, there is no. If I freshly open this particular application, this cursor, um, I, I cannot see the cursor, okay. So, if I enter, um, uh, plainly if I enter 200 on the screen, it won't type anywhere, okay. So, if I go here in the withdrawal, here I see the cursor. If I go to deposit, here I see. So, when after entering, the, uh, after opening this application, if I switch this option, I can see the cursor here, default. But if I open my first time, okay, if I open my application first time, uh, I, I am not able to see anywhere in, on the screen. So, uh, let us say you, know, you are going to handle deposit, okay. If you are going to handle deposit, then this uh, place, this, uh, this particular place default option, okay. Then you press tab key and you see your tab key went, this exist, okay, from here to it went to exit button, then again if you press, it went to use case count, then again you type, it went to enable uh, something, then it went here, then tab, it went uh, honest check, then it went not honest check, so you, now it is uh, now going to cash, ok. So let us say uh, you entered here, this particular place, deposit, so that you can see click activity, so I am going here and uh, use click image okay use click image and click on the uh, deposit okay so deposit after clicking deposit and uh, where i need to go i need to go this particular place okay this place you can on, you can use click image okay instead of that if, if, if there is click image not working you try to know many ways you, you capture this and you captured only these, you captured the big uh, text box, but it is not working. So, in that case, see, you can use keystroke, okay, uh, sending hot keys. So, click on deposit and uh, uh, see, pressing tab key, how many tab key uh, we are pressing to reach this particular place. Okay, let me try one tab, okay, it, uh, it's, it's an exit button, two, okay, three, Okay, four. Now, if I press four uh, tabs, then it's reaching to the cash in. Okay. Now I am going to use key stroke. Okay, which means keyboard shortcuts. Okay, drag and drop keyboard shortcuts. Or else you can use the send key as well. Okay, that is a um, uh, class key. I am going to use this keyboard shortcut. Okay, here uh, there is no target application. So click on this drop down and uh, just click on add shortcut manually and uh, what key I pressed just a uh, tab okay click on tab then add one tab is added again click on tab this particular place click on tab click on add so two tab key and then again tab select tab and add three now tab add okay now there is a four tab I added four tab, right? So target application. So I indicate on the screen. Okay, so it should work within this. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to use this one. Send dot key. Okay. So here I can use tab, but in this particular send dot key, I can use only one tab key. So I want to use four tab key, right? So can I use like this four tab key? No. Okay because so i can use loop okay because why why i learned the control uh, flow activities to handle this kind of situation right so okay i am going into this place and uh, control flow activities 
I am going to see which activity I can use it here. Okay, I am going to use the repeat number of times here. Okay, here the current item, leave it as a current item, only I want to do uh, 4 times. Okay, and uh, start at 1 and the number of times, uh, it's uh, uh, 5 I think, let's see. Okay, now drag and drop this hotkey, send hotkey inside. Okay. Move it here. That's it. Can we try this and close this application? Whether it is moving to that particular place or not. Okay. I'm going to click on run file. Now you see it's click deposit and it should press uh, send out key tab. I think it's not working. Let's see whether it is going in or not. Okay, so this is also uh, click image itself, it failed. Okay, then what is this uh, difference here? So let me okay, let me capture it again to clicking this image. Pass it and again close it. Try it. Now you see it's a uh, if I give five, I think it start with the one. At start with one, I can give four here. Okay, if I give four. It will reach that particular place. Now, if I given five, it's reached here. Now, close this and uh, run file again. It's opening application. It's clicked on deposit. Then it's uh, uh, pressing tab keys four times. Then it's reached this particular place. Okay. Then I want to enter something, right? Then go here and go to this and. Uh, now here I can use type into type into I can say thousand okay then after that so from there okay here I use four tabs to reach this particular place after typing thousand then if I press only one tab it's reaching to the next then I can go here and I can use uh, same type into I'm sorry, not type into and the keystroke. Okay, send hotkey, drag and drop send hotkey, and here I can use one more tab. Okay, now after that I want to enter some amount, so I'm using the same type into. Here I'm going to enter two thousand. Okay, and uh, after that I'm going to uh, press one more tab key. Then again, I'm, I want to enter one more amount. So that is all right here and here. And OK. And here I'm going to type something 4000. 2400. Again tab. OK. So let's try this. Whether the bot is filling this two, uh, these three places. Then cancel it. And uh, click on uh, run file. Okay, it's typed everything. Then same like you now if you want to capture your text, you can use a, a screen scrapping method to capture your text. Okay, so this is how we do uh, automation on the, I mean this is how we need to apply uh, the activities image and keyboard and mouse activities <coughs> on the legacy application. Okay, now uh, what is the um, drawback? What is the uh, disadvantage of uh, doing, uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, automating this kind of uh, legacy application. So, it will work on the front, okay, in the front end. So, because it's, you know, it's like how human, uh, know, navigating your uh, mouse and uh, how, you know, we, you are entering uh, keyboard shortcuts. So, the same way, uh, the bot also accessing this application. So, 
let us say bot is now trying to uh, press tap key here to here here that time if you move your mouse uh, I mean if you move your uh, mouse or uh, if you click uh, somewhere else on the screen that particular step will be failed ok. Then if you do any legacy uh, automation so it should be in a dedicated machine and nobody you know uh, interact with that particular machine. So that is the uh, thing we need to consider in, in our mind ok otherwise it will fight. And, uh,